again, we're showing using a servo, that gray motor, and that's a positional motor. It turns at an axle here, which in turn opens and closes these grabbers. And we're using a Bluetooth connection, which anyone with uh, brain computer interface should be able to imagine touching one of these icons on the screen to move it, to move the car forward or backward, turn it left and right, and then run servos. Now we've said this particular board can handle eight servos right here. So we could put this assembly, and we will in the future, put this assembly on hinges to raise and lower it and continue using the grabber to open and close using a Bluetooth app. This is the same code that I put a link to in the previous video. I've not changed the code in the micro bit. It's the same code that we've had version two micro bit, motor driver board, expansion board. This one is by Yaboom. There's another company called Kittenbot that makes a very similar board that does work with the app. The app is called the Mbit app, BBC Mbit. This one right here, BST Mbit, works on Android and on uh, iOS, Apple, tablets and any mobile device, cell phones. Doesn't matter how new or old they are, we've got old iPhone 6, this works very well, iPhone 6. These particular arms I 3D printed. These, uh, the blueprint for these arms that have the gears, one has a round hole and the other one has a an X hole. That is on Thingiverse, T-H-I-N-G-I-V-E-R-S-E, -I -I -E, Thingiverse. Type in Lego, you'll see all kinds of Lego blueprints called STL files for 3D printers. We're using a 3D printer that's classroom, categorized, it's $169 on Amazon. Free blueprints, free files. I just typed in Lego and this and other Lego parts come up. It's not difficult to build. It doesn't have to be extended out as far. It could be shorter. This servo motor is available on Amazon and on uh, AliExpress. These two red wheel motors are also out there available. They're all low price. Everything is cheap. So if you want to practice driving small motors on the tabletop, moving objects across the tabletop, using your BCI chip or whatever your interface is, however it's connected, this is one example. There will be more.